Hello, brothers and sisters. Good to see you again here. Uh, I'm Lilibet Zimmerman, the Jesus Christ Love and Care Ministry. Um, I hope that our, uh, our everybody is doing well. And um, today, I would like to share you some encouragement. Um, um, our scripture today, makikita natin sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9 to 10. So, um, for God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with Him. This is the word of God today. Uh, our topic today is about that, not appointed unto wrath. So that's why uh, in 1 Thessalonians 5, chapter 5, verse 9 to 10, so the wrath, uh, we're talking about the wrath of God. So wrath means uh, galit or puot, na puot ng Panginoon, anger. So uh, God did not uh, appoint us to wrath, but to obtain His salvation in Christ through faith. Therefore, whether we believe physically or not we are still spiritually so we are always with christ hallelujah for where, wherever are we we are in spiritual union with him amen glory to god so we were all once the children of wrath as all others so in ephesians chapter 2 verse 3 O lord for in that state we were born hallelujah so, but you appointed us to, to escape the wrath and obtain salvation through your son. We know we are not deserving of anything good and can make no demands upon you. Help us, therefore, to ev ever present our prayers to you in true humility or, or as those seeking mercy and grace. Amen? So, Ito yung sinasabi mga kapatid. God, God, uh, uh, but God, uh, we, uh, God appointed us or pinili tayo uh, uh, to skip, uh, us to skip, to skip that wrath and obtain salvation. So obtain salvation means that God uh, not appointed us a uh, 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 wrath but uh, through the salvation. Pinili tayo. Para maging, maging, ano, maging, uh, kanyang, ano, yung mailigtas tayo sa pamagitan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen? Hindi tayo pinili ng Diyos upang bagsaka ng puot, ng kanyang puot. Amen? Kundi upang iligtas sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So, Jesus as a living sacrifice to each of one of us. So, pang pinangako ng ating amang nasa langit. So namatay siya para sa atin upang tayo'y mag, mabuhay na kasama niya. Amen? At maging buhay man tayo o patay na sa kanyang muling pagparito. Dahil dito palakasin ninyo ang loob ng isa't isa at magtulungan kayo tulad ng ginagawa ninyo ngayon. Amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So the wrath of God must be poured out on all sin and the weights of sin is death. So for the Christian, the full force of God's wrath was poured out on Christ instead of on us. He was punished in our stead account. So ito yung sinasabi ng mga kapatid na the wrath of God must a uh, poured out on all the sin yung mga mga sabi nga doon sa Romans uh, 6 cha uh, chapter 6 verse 23 for the weeds of sin is death but the gift of God has eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord amen so through Jesus Christ so the, the wrath of God hindi natin yan hindi tayo nakaranas nun kundi ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo Binigay niya ang kanyang buhay as a living sacrifice para sa kaligtasan ng lahat. Amen. Glory to God. So, so he was 
He was a punished in our stead account. Instead, account means our sin na ginawa natin. The wrath of God was poured out in fullest measure on Christ so that your sin and mine could be forgiven. Hallelujah. By grace, through faith in Him. Yung faith, yung pananalig natin sa Kanya. Yung pagtitiwala. Yung naniwala tayo. Even we don't see Him, but we believe, we trust in Him. Amen? Glory to God. So God's wrath was poured out on Christ in, in, in our instead. And we are forgiven of all our sin. So every sin future was laid on uh, um, that we commit, every sin that we commit during our life, past, present, or future was laid on Christ. Amen. And the any more innermost price for sin was paid for by him in 2,000 years ago. He took our place. Dapat tayo ang magbayad nun. And the and paid the penalty for our sin, right? Yung penalty, yung parusa, na para da dapat tayo ang gagawa niyan. Da dapat tayo ang tatanggap niyan. Dahil kay Kristo, tayo ay we escape from the wrath of God. Amen? Glory to God. Napakasarap mga kapatid. Amen? So God does not disdain as for wrath but obtain salvation through Christ. Amen. So every man and woman has a free will choice to trust in Christ for salvation because the wrath of God against their sin and ours was paid at Calvary. The choice is to believe and be forgiven of all sin. Amen. So which, mean that, which means that we skip the wrath to come. And having obtained salvation in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the only alternative. Alternative yung mapagpilian. Is to refuse. Is to refuse to believe. On the only begotten son of God. In which case. Those who refuse God's offer. Of salvation. By grace. Through faith in wrath. A true faith, true faith in Him will suffer for the full force of God's anger, wrath, and condemnation. Condemnation yung pagkundina. Because they did not believe on the, on the only Son, begotten Son of God. So dahil kaya yun maparusahan sila. Dahil they don't believe, they refuse Him. So, um, uh, there is an appoint, appointed time that God wrath, God's wrath is going to be poured out in full measure on, a, on Christ rejecting sinful world that did not believe in Him. So yun yung mga kapatid, yung hindi sila ano, nananalig sa kanyang anak. A future time. That is called the time of Jacob's trouble, the great tribulation. And it takes place in the 70 weeks of Daniel's great and uh, 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 end times and times, great and times prophecy when the time of Moses. So it's an example. So the future time wrap is very near. We need to recognize that it is by grace. That we have been saved and not of our works. Amen? So, nagkaroon tayo ng kaligtasan. Hindi dahil may ginawa tayo. It's not by our works. By, by grace. Grace because of the love of Christ. He gave, his, he gave his life as a living sacrifice. So, God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him should not perish. At sinabi naman niya sa John 3:17, um, for God did not send his, did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Glory to God. At sinabi din ni Jesus sa John 14:6, I am the way 
and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So through His only begotten Son, magkaroon tayo ng salvation, true salvation in Christ, amen, true by our faith, amen, glory to God. So instead, so God appointed, right? So uh, so the future time, um, the uh, is uh, overall is very near and we need to recognize that it is by grace that we have been saved and not of our, of our works so lest any man should boast boast yung dapat ipagmalaki but one of the hundreds hundreds of benefits that is given to all who believe in Christ who believe on Christ is that we are not we are not appointed to wrath Lahat ng nanalig sa kanyang anak. So, makaligtas tayo sa galit at puot ng ating Panginoong Amang na sa langit. Amen? So, instead as we are told by the Apostle Paul that, that the Lord Himself will descend, will descend from heaven. Yung descend from heaven, bumaba siya sa langit, galing sa langit with a shout and with the archangels voice and with the trumpet of God and the dead in and in the and, in, and the dead uh, in Christ will rise first then we who are still alive and rem and remain remain it remain God's does not destine us for wrath but to obtain salvation amen through Christ glory to God so yun yung sinasabi mga kapatid na bababa si Kristo descend from heaven which a shout yun the second coming of Christ that's the promise God will restore everything when Jesus come back again and we can see him we meet him in the clouds we see him so Jesus come and then first um, the dead in Christ will rise first then we who are still remain we alive uh, we are uh, still alive and remain and then we meet together at babaguhin lahat that's the, our hope when the time come amen even we don't we don't know when that gonna happen but we still believe and hope and that's the sign of faith, proof that we have faith through our Christ. Amen. Glory to God. So you mga kapatid, so um, we will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And that's the promise. That's in the prophecy, in the revelation. So, and so we will always be with the Lord. And in that terrible time of Jacob's troubles will be poured out. So, lahat ng mga hirap natin sa buhay, lahat ng mga trials and tribulation, lahat ng mga sakit, kung sino nakaramdam nun, lahat ng mga problema natin, mawala na, babaguhin lahat. He restored everything when the time come. Sa Itong mga bagay na naranasan natin ngayon, na na-encounter natin, ay temporary, pansamantala lang. They are uh, everything that we feel now. I know it's not easy, but God prepared a way. That's the promise. When the time, when Jesus come back again, everything will restore. The new heaven and the earth. New earth and new heaven. Babaguhin lahat mga kapatid. So yun. So, but we have, but we have uh, not been appointed for wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us encourage one another with these words. Amen. Glory to God. So yun mga kapatid. So patuloy lang tayo, medyo maiksi, just encouragement to it's one of us here, not only me, but this one is the promise, the promise when the time Christ come back again, amen, glory to God. So um, ito lang mga kapatid, ano ang ma-encouragement kaya tinawag na, not appointed unto wrath, so yung, yung puot na dapat tayo ang tatanggap nun, magkaano, Tayo maranasan natin, matanggap natin ang parusa, pero hindi natin naranasan. Dahil mayroon tayong isang tao, isang uh, Jesus Christ na, nag, nag, na ang inag-iisang anak. 
yun ang nag nag intercede sa atin between our Abba Father, our God in heaven. So, kaya makakatawag tayo na Father when we pray. Because we are the offspring of God. That's why we become an, an offspring of God. Dahil kay Kristo. I remember that when you go to the Old Testament long time ago, when the people of Israel, the high priest, go to the, uh, before go to the temple, and then um, uh, they, they uh, bring the offering, like uh, an animals, and then when they killed it, and then they take out the blood, and then they, 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 they winiwisik nila doon sa templo, para sa paglilinis sa lahat ng mga kasalanan ng mga Israelita. So, nung unang panahon, so once a year, pupunta, papasok doon ang high priest. But remember mga kapatid, si Jesus Christ, one time lang siya, ano na matay sa krus para sa lahat, sa kaligtasan, na siya ay walang kasalanan, pero nagiging, ano, para siyang, ano, na, may um, laking kasalanan dahil siya ang umako na dapat tayo ang tatanggap nun. Amen? Napakasarap mga kapatid. Glory to God. So our Jesus Christ, true in Him, tayo nagkaroon ng kaligtasan, nagkaroon ng everlasting life dahil sa kanyang anak na nag-iisa. Amen? So Jesus is the answer. Sa, dahil isang bisis lang siya. So ngayon, Jesus, remember mga kapatid, He's the, ha, he's the priest. High priest. Siya ang high priest natin dahil siya ang nagliligtas sa lahat ng mga anak ng Diyos. Amen? Glory to God. So napakasarap. Tapos nung before siya umalis, bumalik sa langit, inibinigay sa atin ang gift which is the Holy Spirit. The gift of the Holy Spirit. So she, he said that if, if you keep my commandments, then um, he said that he will ask our Father in heaven and he give us uh, the counselor to be with us forever, which is the Holy Spirit. Yun ang promise, the promise of the Holy Spirit. So our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So he guide us, the Holy Spirit guide us, he teaches us what we need to do and he remind us. Para hindi tayo mapapahamak. Amen. Glory to God. So yun lang mga kapatid. Before the end of the video, let us pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Heavenly Father, thank you that Christ died to, to pay this price for my sin. And took the full force of your wrath against my sin on the cross. So that I might be forgiven. Receive forgiven receive eternal life and not be appointed to rap i pray that i may live my life in a manner that is pleasing to you keep me from temptation to sin and guide me in the way that i should go in jesus name hallelujah ura baba kaya rasanda rabasia ura baba siti karakanda rabasia oh father god thank you you never leave us nor forsake us Thank you for your son as a living sacrifice for the salvation through him. Hallelujah. That we can have a true uh, salvation. You save us. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. You shed for us. Thank you. Uh, Lord Jesus, thank you. To remind them. Thank you to always reminding us. The death, the cross. Ura baba hayara sintarakan. Forgive us, O Lord Jesus. We surrender to you of all our sin. Ura bahia, help us that we can live, we can abide, we can continue abide in you. We can have an intimacy relationship to you. Ura basuto karakan, help us, O Lord. Deliver us and set us free. Help us, Lord, that we can rely on your faithfulness. Give us an undivided heart that we can we can um, walk and fear your name. Lord, we thank you for your word today to reminding us the the appointed the wrath harabas city karakanda rabasia not appointed your wrath O God because your son your son uh, intercede us as a living sacrifice for our life. 
Thank you for everything. Thank you for the hope. Thank you for the joy of salvation. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your unconditional love for your people. Thank you for your merciful. You're an amazing God. You're an awesome God. You're miracle power. Lord, heal your people, O God. Heal your people watching this video, O God. Lord, bless all the subscribers. Bless all the, the viewers. Whatever sickness they have, O God, take away all, O Lord, sorrow and pain, O God, everything, O God. Thank you, Abba Yahoo. Thank you, Yahusha Masia Adonai. Thank you, Ruha Kudis. We thank you for all these things. O Rabasia, thank you for your word. We give glorify to you. O we love you, O God. In the name of Yahusha, Hamasia Adonai. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise you. Hallelujah. Oh, may the Lord bless you. And shalom. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you sa lahat na nag-subscribe. Thank you sa mga viewers. I love you all. Bye. Shalom.